for my second tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make a basic contact microphone out of two parts. One which you can get at Radio Shack and the other which you can also get at Radio Shack but you can also salvage off of old VCRs or old tape decks or whatever. What you're going to need is this. This is a piezo transducer. It cost me $1.99 at Radio Shack. It's like a buzzer thing but we're gonna open it up and then you need some sort of a jack like this it could be quarter inch RCA or one eighth inch like you can see in the finished contact mic here so as you can see the finished product is pretty simple but first before you start you're gonna need to take the piezo transducer which is enclosed in this plastic thing and somehow get that little gold disc out of there now I'm not going to do it to this one because I want to save this for when this breaks but what you do what I do at least is get scissors and cut off the top I'm making sure not to touch or scratch or bend the piezo transducer underneath. So it takes a little bit of time, it's kind of tricky. You might have better tools to do it, but you just have to take it out of there. So the next step, once you've taken the piezo transducer out of its enclosure, is to solder it to the jack. Okay, so what you're going to need are some alligator clips, soldering iron, the open piezo transducer, oh yeah, and a connector that you're gonna solder to. So as a precaution, I'm gonna check to make sure my alligator clips work. Put my multimeter on this mode. And So what we're doing is testing which way we have to solder the piezo transducer onto the jack. We do this easily with alligator clips. I'm going to test it like this and then I'm going to switch these to test it the other way and plug it into an amplifier and see which one makes noise. Can I turn up the volume? making noise. I'm going to try it the other way just to see if it makes noise. <laughs> it's also making noise so it seems like testing it with the alligator clips isn't even necessary but I don't know. I, it's probably just good to test it anyway. Okay, the next step is actually s removing the alligator clips and soldering the piezo transducer to the jack. Okay, before you solder, make yeah. sure you slip the sleeve onto the transducer. Okay, my soldering iron was already warming up. I'm not a very good solderer, so this may take a while. What I'm doing is I'm coating the wires with solder, so that way when I put it onto the jack, it will easily get stuck. The solder will just melt, and it'll stick right on there. It's really helpful to have one of those helping hands things. They're like $10, I don't have one, so I'm just going to do this manually. Okay, so stick the coated wire through the holes on the jack. One because it'll hold it in place and two because those are the places you need to put it so they show you where to put it and they're also handy once the wire is in the right spot just lightly tap it with the soldering iron until 
the coated solder melts and forms sort of a bubble around the wire in its place. Now a common misconception is that the solder makes the connection but it's actually the wire that has to be touching the jack. The solder just holds it in place but it does not transfer the or it doesn't make the connection. When you think you're done just wind it up and test it out make sure it's still working just like when you tested it the first time. Great, it's working. Now on to the next part. For the next part, you're going to make a shock absorber for the contact microphone. It'll look something like this when you're done. But what you do is you take any sort of soft material. I use this styrofoam thing that I got from a package. I don't know exactly where it's from. But you cut a little bit wider than the contact microphone. And you're going to cut off all that excess crap. And what this does is it holds it like that. And then whatever you're putting it onto, just to get some masking tape or whatever kind of tape you have around that, that'll be secure. Put it where you want and tape tape it up so it's nice and snug. Now an another concern is that there's some handling noise with this. So sometimes you might want to tape it onto there too. Like that. Maybe even with a shock absorber. Another thing is that these wires are pretty easily pulled out. So you might want to like stick wrap tape around here to give it sort of a buffer. And also be careful not to pull the contact points off the microphone because then you're screwed. Then you have to buy a new thing, new little piezo transducer and do it over again without the amplifier. with the amplifier. That's it. Thanks for watching.